people, we just spotted a giant Grand's Gazelle. I mean, a monster. We've been seeing a lot of them, but that one is extremely special. And just take in for a second the view that we're looking at. We can see multiple dust tornadoes. We can see for miles and miles. No fences, totally wild, free-ranging Tanzania. Gosh, it's amazing. All right, guys, so we're losing elevation off the mountain here. If you look down there real far, you can see the Grand's Gazelle underneath the tree. It is a giant. And they're chilling in the shade. It's still pretty hot, so we're going to keep losing elevation. And once we get down on the same level, we'll use those bushes to kind of sneak in and hopefully get a shot as long as they don't move. So we're going to keep moving. We're getting close, guys. Yeah, we got off the hill without them busting us. So we're just moving into position now. Fortunately, we got into perfect position and then the wind just switched on us and freaking busted us. Freaking came down here and you can see we're in this thick, thick, nasty stuff and we just couldn't find him. They don't get big for a reason, I guess. Or for no reason. But uh, yeah, I mean, that was the biggest one we've seen this entire trip, so it's a little frustrating. We didn't get on him, but we're going to keep trying. You never know. Might get back on him or like it on a bigger one. That's that would be crazy. Walk in front of that other one, pee in. Those grands, gazelles, are giving us a run around. You know, they're used to seeing like Maasai around here, the Maasai people herding their goats and stuff. And so they are not as switched on as other animals, but man, just goes to show you, we couldn't get close. We, we, we got inside a hundred a couple of times, but that was it. <sighs> Pretty much wraps up today and tomorrow's a new day. See if we can't get on a lesser kudo and maybe another grand's. And uh, we'll see how it happens. Can you get the umbrella? We're gonna try something different. Maybe he'll think we're a freaking ostrich. Hey, we're gonna try anything. We're, we are getting our butts kicked by these African animals. We need to 
stay low and yes, tight. Everyone stay in. Trying the umbrella, I think it would have worked, but the wind is bad. So they're just kind of smelling, and they realize it doesn't smell like an ostrich.
spoken. Just. What the fuck? Just. Just. Um, freaking drilled him, baby. He was. He was about 115, 120. We've been on that same bowl for all morning, and they're so switched on we couldn't get close. And honestly, I hate taking those kind of shots, but he was on a hill above us. It was the only time that we've had him on a hill. So I knew with the arc of that arrow coming in, with him on a hill like this, on the hill like this, and the arrow coming down, it would smoke him double lung. And that's literally what we just did. I held perfect. It was 115 yards, double lung beam. I mean, that was insane. The guys won't believe it. Oh. Dude. That's freaking crazy. <laughs> what do you think of that, buddy? Wow. Well, how far do you end up being? He was, he was He's a long ass one. <laughs> you, yeah, it was good. <laughs> he was 120 because I held my second put pin on him. Woo, boys. That right there is the first ever Grand's gazelle ever killed with a bow on film. And probably the second biggest ever in the world. Maybe the biggest, you never know, but I'm telling you, there's a reason why there hasn't been very many killed with the bow. The boys are coming up with the truck. The reason is they are switched on. It is hard to get close. You see the desert country you're in here. It is unbelievable. Fuck Smoked him, buddy, like 118 one ish. Walking, double lung. I told Jeff in the car, I was like, Jeff, if they get a shot, I'll give you a. So we came up here and he's broadside at 107. He just started walking away. But see that hill? Did it hit so, him on? Like, oh, freaking yeah. smoke. Oh, in the back. Yeah. <laughs> because you, well, when he, he was walking away. No, you were like. <laughs> So no, I think he was walking was away, you could see that hill. So he was kind of at an angle like this. So I knew with that arrow coming down. That's epic. So I just, I held high. We deserved that. And freaking, that was he heard the arrow coming and he tried to run out of the way. And just, we freaking did it, baby. Well done. Yeah. Insane, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is a real achievement with the bow, guys. First ever Grand's Gazelle ever filmed with a bow boy we worked hard on this one you know we've been seeing a lot of these honestly it's it's uh one of those one of those deals where there's a ton of them around but we were looking for something really special and old and we found this bull and we stayed on him all morning and we didn't give up i i don't even know how many miles we put on but it was a lot and here donnie come back here to get in the frame. We all worked hard for this. You know, Donnie was, th these things are just unbelievable, like switched on for us, you know? I mean, we could not get close. I knew it was gonna be a long shot. And unfortunately I had to shoot him, you know, at about 118. And we've been trying all morning and we got in a lot of times inside that, that 80 to 130 yard range, but they would never stop. We thought that eventually he would get tired and we're talking, it's almost noon probably, but yeah, it's probably, yeah, just before noon. And we didn't get him. And finally we saw him come up over this hill and we th said, okay, this is gonna be our chance. We ran to the top of the hill. He is at 107 broadside and I went full draw and he kept walking away. So I held high and with him at an angle like that, it just dropped in and smoked him. He only went, you know, maybe 60, 70 yards and died. This is a, a bow hunting achievement of a lifetime. You know, I, I don't like shooting them that far. If it was up to me, I'd shoot them at 20 yards every time. But we got it done, and I'm proud of this. And Lauren, we got it in. Dude, you should be proud, buddy. Man. That's, that's a huge one. I mean, man, How big look, do you think he is? Come on in. You know, he might, honestly, just looking at him, even Sebastian said, I mean, I don't know, what was the number one? Oh, this is oh, over. Man. This is, this is going to be at least, you at least 26, I think. Just check. 26? What do you reckon? A little bit more. 
You reckon, eh? Oh, yeah, my we'll gosh. The world record. We just oh, killed yeah. a world record. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Happy, what do you think about that? That's awesome. I've got nine man. inches there, and I need to go up. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's a world record, buddy. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Yeah, that is a world record, for sure. We killed a world record. Oh, my. And look how old he is. Look at all this character here. Look at all the white wow. ivory on him. He what does have piece. white ivory, doesn't he? He does. Look at that. Wow. Josh Beaumont. New world record, my oh, friend. Geez. That's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, hey. We did it. New world record with a bow, and it's the first one ever filmed. Pretty That's amazing. Incredible, guys. Happy for you. African bow hunting adventures, buddy. Yeah. Organized all this. Lauren, thank you so much, hey, my friend. Man, it's, a, it's is... just a treat for me to watch you guys in action, especially. I mean, there's not many bow hunters you can watch pull off shots like that. I mean, geez, even with a rifle at 117 <laughs> yards free hand, no. it's pretty impressive. Thanks, man. This is a trophy for all of us, honestly. You know, I was the one that, that pulled the trigger, but this, the operation you guys run here, I mean, you know, they don't take a lot of clients every year. A lot of safaris in Africa, they, they take a lot of guys, you know, and they, they shoot out a lot of the herds, but not with you guys, which is pretty amazing. You know, you take a lot less people, mm -hmm. but the quality of trophies are mm -hmm. so great. And this is what's so nice, you know, you get old mature bulls like this when we're selective. Absolutely. And we could have shot a lot of them that were, you know, on the borderline of being really mature, but just weren't this great. That's but, why patience for me always pays. And because you're so patient and because you're selective, this is the result. People that are willing to just settle all the time, you'll get a nice animal, yeah. but to get right. this sort of an animal, I mean, Dude. it's because you 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 wanted this yeah. sort and of an animal. And he's over, like, over his prime. Like, oh, this is man. worn down. It's beautiful, man. Wow. The secondary growth here, Josh, and, is and just he amazing. Has, Danny, this one, if you look at all the ones we've looked at, he has everything. He's got the sweep back that we yep. talk about right yeah. in the first sweep. He's got a really nice curl here, but he's long sideways too. Yeah. A lot of the other ones, kind of, there was one that we followed yesterday, which I don't think might have been an inch off this one, that big one. He went like this and he went, he was a little deeper, but he wasn't as long. That makes sense. From the side, this one, you can just see bases to yeah. tip. That's beast, man. Yeah, you could really see that sweep he's talking about, Look at him especially from, behind, from this man. side. Look there. Oh my gosh. Here, look at him from the behind, guys. This is the view that we saw all morning, was him walking away from us like this. You know, it's crazy, and I'll even show the footage. We'll roll that right now. You know, this, this area is full of cheetahs, super high population of cheetahs, and we were actually driving in the truck heading to a different spot and came up on a Grand that was just taken down by three, three cheetahs, mm -hmm. and it was still alive. It was just unbelievable. So to get a bull this mature, you know, he's got to be top of the food chain when it comes to intelligence, which you guys could see. He was switched on. He wouldn't let us get within bow range, which is why I had to shoot him out, you know, about 118, you know, moving, which isn't great. And I, again, I don't, I'm not encouraging other bow hunters to be doing this, but I have trained my entire adult life to be the best archer that I can possibly get. And even as a kid, you know, I trained and to make a shot like that is, is, it's not what I wanted, honestly, but you know what? At the end of the day, we got a new world record on the ground. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of it, and he didn't go very far. He only went maybe 70 yards and died fast, so that's all we can hope for as an archer is a quick death, and we got it done, so we're going to stop jabbing and start taking photos.